with the arrival of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first child fast approaching, preparation is well and truly underway and it's no surprise that like her sister-in-law Kate had to do when she welcomed her three children, Meghan will need to adhere to some very traditional birthing rules. Here are 10 facts you should know in preparation for the royal birth. 1. The Queen will be told first the Queen will be the first person to know that the royal baby has safely arrived. When Prince George was born, William called his grandmother on a specially encrypted phone to tell her the happy news. The new father proceeded to tell Kate's family, then his, enjoying their new bundle of joy for a few hours before announcing the birth to the public. 2. Official statement by the palace An official statement will be put up on official websites such as royal.governor.uk and be sent out to media outlets shortly after the birth, but the royal family will also use the official Kensington Palace Twitter to announce the arrival. The couple used this platform to announce the pregnancy news in October, reaching millions of people. Since the Duke and Duchess have revealed their office will move to Buckingham Palace in the spring, they might choose to announce the news on their own social media channel, if one is launched, or they might also do it via the royal family's official social media accounts. 3. The official notice of birth will be placed on an easel The confirmation of birth will be placed on an easel in the forecourt of Buckingham Palace. The notice will have the Buckingham Palace letterhead and will be signed by Meghan's doctors. The notice will give the gender, time of birth and a short sentence about the well-being of both the child and the new mother. 4. The name won't be announced until a few days after the birth Prince George's name was released two days after he was born, the same as Charlotte, and Louis' name was revealed four days after his birth. Prince Louis' name was announced on Twitter and it seems likely that this royal baby's name will be announced via the same platform. 5. The baby will have three or four names Harry and Meghan's baby will have three or four names, for example Princess Charlotte's middle names are Elizabeth and Diana. The Queen must approve the names of royal babies who are closest in line to the throne. 6. The royal baby may not have a royal title Her Majesty declared in 2012 that all of William and Kate's children would be known as prince or princesses, but there is currently no same rule for Harry's children. This means that baby Sussex may not hold the title of his or her royal highness. If offered the titles, Harry and Meghan could decline them, as Princess Anne did for Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips. 7. Gun salute The arrival of a royal baby is traditionally marked with a gun salute by the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery. The basic gun salute is 21 rounds, but if conducted in a royal park, an extra 20 rounds are fired. If fired at the Tower of London, 62 rounds will be fired the basic 21, a further 20 because the tower is a royal palace and 21 for the city of London. 8. Meghan will be in safe hands for all three of the Duchess of Cambridge's births The doctors remained the same, consultant obstetrician Guy Tharp B. Eston and consultant gynecologist Alan Farthing. Although we don't know exactly who Meghan's doctor will be, she is bound to have the best care. 9. The christening the royal baby will be christened in a replica of the hooded and lace and satin christening gown made for Queen Victoria's eldest daughter in 1941. Although we don't know exactly where the baby will be christened, it is assumed that it will be Windsor Castle as the couple now live locally. 10. The royal baby could have anywhere between four to seven godparents although it is not known how many godparents the new baby will have, Prince George has seven, Prince Louis has six and Charlotte, 5. Those in the running for the role for this baby include Zara and Mike Tyndall, George and Amal Clooney, Serena Williams and good friend Benita Liet. Hello. Can't wait to see who the Duke and Duchess will pick to be an extra mentor to their children. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.